Hey everyone, I'm Brandon Frazen, Director of Vintage here at Bob's Watches, and welcome to another episode of Vintage of the Week. For this episode of Vintage of the Week, we have a gorgeous Rolex reference 1675 GMT Master fitted with a fuchsia bezel, and it even has its papers. To start, we got this watch directly from the original owner. It has excellent provenance. The story goes that he was a cadet at West Point and purchased the watch at the cadet store. You can see the papers are even signed USMA Cadet Store. A USMA stands for the United States Military Academy, and it also is filled in with the serial number, which matches the watch. The original owner wore this watch regularly. Here are some noteworthy facts about the GMT Master. The reference 1675 was the second version of the GMT Master that Rolex released, and it had an increase in case size to nearly 40 millimeters, along with the addition of crown guards, which are two traits of the modern GMT Master that Rolex still produces today. The reference 1675 was in production from 1959 until 1980, and in this particular example has a 1.6 million serial number, which would give it a production date of circa 1967. Rolex switched from glossy to matte dials right around this time, making this watch one of the earliest examples of the matte dial GMT Master. This particular style of matte dial is known by some as a Mark 0.5 dial because it is similar to a Mark 1 dial with long E text, but has the earlier style of zinc sulfide loom that was carried over from the gilt era, and it also is fitted with a small GMT hand. In addition to having a slightly puffier appearance than the more standard variety of loom that was used on later era matte dial watches, zinc sulfide also maintains a phosphorescence in response to UV light, although the duration of glow is much shorter and not nearly as bright as photoreactive luminescent materials. As for the condition of this dial, it's overall super clean with a light patina. The loom plots have aged to a lovely pale yellow color, while the hands have also aged and are a bit darker. Additionally, this watch still retains its correct date wheel that has closed sixes and hook sevens. It also has a beautifully faded fuchsia bezel. Some collectors call these the Pink Panther. These fuchsia bezels really give the GMT a totally different look, and that's one reason why they're so sought after. Although the case has previously been polished and the bracelet is a later era Rolex USA replacement from 1976, the watch itself remains in excellent overall condition and is still accompanied by its original punch chronometer papers and GMT pamphlet. For many people, the reference 1675 represents the quintessential GMT master, and this particular watch is a great example of an early matte dial variant with a beautiful fuchsia bezel. Just like every timepiece featured on this series, this exact watch will be available for purchase directly on our website. Head on over to bobswatches.com vintage if you want to add this piece to your collection. Well, that about wraps it up for this episode of Vintage of the Week. Don't forget to tune in next time to see what standout vintage watch we'll be featuring next. Thanks for watching. Bye.